Christmas baby. Thank you, mate. Welcome to this video. This is Crafty here from Crafty Music Tips. I'm here hanging out with Darren from Sing It Live. And if you haven't already been going through our onslaught here of the behind the scenes look at these 12 Christmas songs on the Sing It Christmas album, well then, welcome. This is Merry Christmas Baby. I haven't heard this song before. Rod Stewart and CeeLo Green did it. I'm not sure that Rod Stewart was the first version. I think this is probably an old song covered. I always wanted to find a nice fit for Stefan on the Christmas album as well. And what better song that has a great guitar solo in it and a duet. I'd never sang with him before in a duet, ever. Yeah, so right. here it is. I First got time to, for everything. I got to kill two well, birds with one stone. Well, it's very gutsy. In a Christmas album, you have to have those nice, gentle sort of ballads and those sort of upbeat, happy kind of Christmas songs. This has got some nice, raw, gutsy, kind yeah, of rocky, sort of soul bluesy, and soul. funky. Yeah. yeah, it's almost like Barnsley and the Bad Lives or something. Well, we've got the wah 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 guitar as well from Cam mm. back there on his Strat. Yeah. And the gold PRS at the front, which I'm sure he painted gold for us, I'm sure. But anyway. I love gold! Originally, that guitar was green, of course, until he dropped it right here on the way out from a session. Green for Christmas! It was green, that's right. And he ended up getting it resurfaced. But a fantastic guitar, that. Stefan's got a great story on that on his Instagram and on his YouTube channel, so you should find it. out a fantastic solo. I think Cam is playing through what we we're using as an acoustic channel. It's called Cowstick. Nice. Because it was mm. a Cowstick guitar. Yeah, so he's just yeah. going straight through the pedal, so there's no end. So you just didn't bother to change the name. That's right. Yeah. Through two songs. And then um, to the solo. So this is one of the rare moments where Stefan has also brought a pedal board right. and is just using a speaker and I'm not miking that speaker. So yeah, right. Track down. So let's pop in some music so you know in... Con in the guys it's just got such a great blend cam got... can get right up on those high falsetto notes as well so mm. and mario's singing yes. and drumming of course yeah of course and you've got the double keyboard going a lot of times it's like an organ sound or yeah. just an extra sound that pops out it's good to split them rather than split it on the keyboard and be playing and have it all of a sudden hit an organ note the top keyboard is just a controller keyboard is just plugged in via USB into the back of my Roland, so it's got its own external keyboard. So it powers the keyboard, doesn't need a power supply, Great. keeps it alive, and it's a whole new layer of sounds. And so, that's what you're using the organ for? Yeah. I'm and the other ones for? Whirly, sort of bitey, yeah. whirly sound. And I put whirly. Yeah, it's got that distorted whirly sound, I think that's what I picked in there. It's definitely got some bite. Sometimes I do 
you set up the keyboard and go, oh, just bring in some, and then someone just does something on that part and you go, oh, 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 oh I don't, don't need to. Yeah. And I'll stick back in. You know, in the prep for each song, I'll just set up the sounds that I want, mm. learn the track that way, and sort of position myself where I think I'm going to be. And every song has its own scene, as it's called, scenes inside the Roland, and that one, yeah, is set up there. So, and was there anything else, uh, bass or drum wise? It was a lot like a normal singer live track. This one because it sort of rocked out a bit more. The drums mm. were sort of pumping through, and the drums require the whole box and dice and I had um I had a, uh, a room mic down here um notice it's this one here is muted it's just a so this is just a mic I think it might be somewhere behind Stefan here around here, I just set up a mic. If I needed to, I can do what's called a de-bleed. So if as long as you've got a microphone that's hearing what you want to remove, I'll use Isotope RX10 for that to de-bleed, and I'd use that microphone as a reference, and I'd get theirs, and I could sort of take some of everyone out of the mic, just a little. You can go too far and start sounding wishy-washy, like a really cheap MP3. Yeah, you know that, right. that yeah. sound? Yeah. You can hear these things. But it's just taking the edge off, I guess, is what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. yeah. So, otherwise, microphones become snare mics. Everyone's got a bit of pop, 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 pop yeah. in their microphone. And mm. everyone's voice has to be EQ'd differently to complement their sound. And so, every time you add more treble to someone's voice to bring out more husky voice, you're adding more treble to the snare. Mm if you're allowing that to be part of the microphone, if that's not too complicated. So all of the microphones are part of the whole sound holistically, and I've just got to be very careful. And so, you know, lately I've been setting up one of our vocal mics, it's a spare, the same model that we sing through, yeah. and it's hearing the room from a nice position out of the way. Right, and, and so, you couldn't do that with a camera mic? Well, it's generally distorting as well. Right. It's a little bit over, yeah. the, and it's hearing only what's up front. Right and in the middle of the room is in the middle. Plus it's a dynamic microphone similar to the others and I think you'll probably yeah. find the camera is a condenser. Yeah. So, you know, they're very sensitive and they automatically transfer. And what's the room mic? It is a Sennheiser, it's no, one of these. Oh, one of these? One of oh. our vocal mics. Oh, so I see. It's the, uh, I think, uh, 835? Yeah. difference to be able to just go just take a little bit of that out of the microphone so you can get mm. a bit of separation it's been a bit of a trick lately it does work sometimes sometimes doesn't but you know I think having an extra mic I've got plenty of channels yeah as long as I've got a spare better to be looking at it than searching for it it's a great song I get to sing with Stefan and we all sing big backing vocals oohs and ahs especially like in that solo after that as well we've got a very huge moment over here where I can Seal um, Darren's bits, there's like... Oh, and a key change. is maybe a Motown tambourine. Make some calls. This has been fun. Thanks, Darren, once again for going through this. Thanks, mate. Check it out. There's so many of these Christmas songs on this Sing It Christmas album. If you haven't already done so, check out the link below. We'll leave a link so that you can go and stream it or purchase it. Yes. Yep. 
Why not? It could be your, your Christmas soundtrack, that, you know, you want some Christmas vibe, wake it up. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a bunch of these videos that we're going through here where we're talking about the behind the scenes. So go check out them. We'll leave the links below as well. So uh, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to Sing It Live, the YouTube channel. And Crafty Music Tips channel, if you're a muso like what we are and you're interested in this stuff, well then you can check out a bunch of other Crafty Music Tips style videos here on this channel that aren't necessarily to do with Christmas. <laughs> but they're all very useful at any time of the year. Let's hope they are. So, <laughs> so yeah, so thanks very much. We'll see you in the next video here in this series, checking out this behind the sounds of the Sing It Christmas album. We'll see you there. Merry see Christmas. You. Bye.